Hi, I'm Brian Carrier of Cyber Triage, and this video starts off a new series on how to use Cyber Triage Lite, which is our free version of Cyber Triage. Cyber Triage Lite allows you to collect files and artifacts from Windows systems and review them in a UI. There are many DFIR collection tools out there, but they often involve several executables and libraries. It simply give you a, a folder of text files to review. You'll see that Cyber Triage Lite's collection tool is a single executable and gives you a nice UI to navigate. In this video, we'll cover the basics of why you should consider Cyber Triage Lite and what it can do for you. We'll be incrementally releasing a series of short videos that cover how to do certain things like collecting to a USB drive, which is coming up next. So first, what is Cyber Triage Lite? Cyber Triage Lite is a DFIR collection and display tool. It runs on a live window system, a disk image or memory image, and extracts files and artifacts of interest. It is not going to make a full disk or memory image. The collection tool will pull back data such as startup items, processes, users, logins, scheduled tasks, WMI actions, etc. Those artifacts are saved to a JSON file, which is then imported back into the CyberTriage UI. You can then review the collected data, tag them, and make reports. If you compare CyberTriage to other existing free DFIR tools, you'll find that it's a single executable collection tool rather than dozens of files and libraries. It has minimal dependencies, such as not requiring .NET, and it's got a UI that allows you to tag items and pivot to jump from a startup item to a running process. Plus, it'll make reports for you based on your findings. You can download CyberTriage Lite from cybertriage.com. You'll get an installer that will also allow you to evaluate the paid features for seven days. After those seven days, it will change to light mode and the free features only. The main difference between the light and standard versions of cyber triage is that the standard adds more collection methods, namely entirely over the network, S3, EDR integration, and soon batch importing. It gives you scoring to identify which artifacts you should start your investigation with. And it gives you a recommendation engine to help identify additional artifacts that you should look at. Basically, the standard version of cyber triage gives you the same collection and viewing techniques, but it gives you more analytics to make you faster. If you're setting up a new DFIR lab and looking for a free collection toolkit, then you'll be factoring in features such as how hard is it to deploy and run the collection tool? How hard is it to review the data and find the suspicious artifacts? And how can you include the data in your reports? On each of these topics, cyber triage is easy to deploy and run because it's a single executable. It'll give you UI that merges in various artifacts so you don't need to remember the difference between prefetch and AM cache. It provides you a UI that allows you to start with a process and correlate with other data, such as execution history from prefetch and startup items from auto runs. It also allows you to tag artifacts and include them in a report. If you already have a free collection toolkit and are having some growing pains from any of the above topics, then maybe CyberTrash Lite is a better solution. But I should point out that CyberTrash Standard is also a great deal. They currently cost $2,500 and will make your team more efficient with its scoring features and gives you access to 40 plus malware scanning engines. But the rest of the series is all about CyberTrash Lite. To help set the context for the remainder of the video series, let's start talking about the basic workflow of using CyberTrash Lite. First, we'll collect data using one of several techniques to get data from the target system in the cyber triage application. Second, we'll use the cyber triage UI to review the data and look for suspicious artifacts and we'll tag as needed. Lastly, we'll make an HTML report of our findings. The next video in the series, we'll start to talk about collection and how to save to a USB drive. And then later videos will focus on other collection methods, viewing data and making reports. It's critical for a responder to know what kinds of data are being collected. To keep this video short, I'll outline here the broad types of artifact categories that you'll see in the UI and the collection tool. These are all based on our free DFIR divide and conquer course that you can sign up for on cybertriage.com. First, we have data around users to, de to detect account compromise. We'll collect what accounts existed or referenced on the system, inbound, outbound, and local login sessions, UNC paths that were accessed or mounted, programs that were run on the host, and web history, downloads, and cookies that could help look at phishing attacks. We'll also collect artifacts related to malware, namely 
what programs were running on the system, what programs are start each time the computer starts, programs that are scheduled by tasks or WMI actions, active network connections, listening network ports, and DNS cache. Lastly, we'll collect OS configuration settings for things that may have been changed by the attacker to make their attack easier. These categories are how the UI is organized and how the collection tool is organized that you will pick when you figure out what you want to collect and analyze. There are two programs that come with Cyber Triage. First, there's the main application that will run on your trusted analysis system. This is the MSI installer that you download from our website. Second, there's the collection tool that runs on the live target system and collects the artifacts. You can get this from inside of the Cyber Triage application once you install it. So the first step is to install Cyber Triage MSI on your trusted computer, use the defaults, and launch the program. This wraps up the first video in the series. Download Cyber Triage Lite from CyberTriage.com today to try it out. The next videos in this series will cover collection and analysis techniques. Subscribe to this channel for updates or go to our blog at CyberTriage.com. Thanks.